Is there anything you wish people knew? About what? Any of it? All of it? You? Hey. <laughs> That's a two-handed grip, eh? <laughs> Plenty. Yeah. Ariana Grande is addressing the tabloids in a candid new interview. The pop star appeared on The Zack Sang Show on February 26 to talk about her upcoming seventh studio album, Eternal Sunshine, and her highly anticipated film, Wicked. But she also briefly discussed the media interests surrounding her personal life, specifically sharing her take on how the tabloids can impact the audience's perception of celebrities. I, when I listen to this album, I feel like you're sharing yourself in a way that one, you haven't done in a while, and then two, I feel like you're, I feel like you're talking to people who feel like they, they know you but don't. Sure. Yeah. I get what you're saying. There is a sense of misunderstanding. It's for my fans. There is a sense of this album where you're talking to people who have come to their own conclusions. What? People have crafted their own narratives. Yeah. The thing is, is that like, we know this about the tabloids and about the media and about, don't, like, am I crazy? Don't we know this? The Yes and singer then elaborated on how she believes stories in the press can paint a celebrity to look a certain way. But that's what I'm saying. It's like we selectively remember that this is what the tabloids do to people, especially women, based on whether or not we like the person. We selectively remember that. We selectively leave space for humanness, for nuance. Like they don't leave space for that. Well, they do for their friends and their family. It's selective. Yeah, but, but, when they, but when they turn it off, when that aligns with the version of a person that they have in their head that they want to believe is true. Does that make sense? One hundred percent. But 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 I don't say this for them. Again, I'm saying it for my fans, for myself. Ariana's personal life made headlines last year when she was romantically linked to Wicked co-star Ethan Slater following her divorce from Dalton Gomez. Though she didn't clear up any of those rumors, she did acknowledge the challenge of seeing the coverage affect those she cares about. Is there anything you wish people knew? About what? Any of it? All of it? You? <laughs> It's a two-handed grip, eh? <laughs> Plenty. Yeah. We don't have enough time, but if you guys want to come to La Masseria one night, <laughs> please let me know. <laughs> we can get into all of it. <laughs> no, I, I feel like we don't need to go into any specifics, but of course there's like an insatiable frustration, inexplicable, hellish feeling with watching people misunderstand the people you love and you and the anything that uh, it's, uh, yeah, of course. Her music was also a hot topic after some of her songs were leaked on TikTok without her consent. Before I left for Wicked, the few studio sessions that I did, which are all, um, all over TikTok, thank you so much. Uh, I'll so see you in jail, literally. Um, <laughs> that, but- They're all real leaks. No, yeah, they were. But but the thing uh, the thing is is that those were all written for a TV show for. Uh, I remember this. Something that was not for me. Uh. So fantasize comes out, comes out crazy, was stolen, <laughs> comes out thieves, pirates, crooks, <laughs> illegal. But she told Zach some of those songs will still be on her album. It's okay. I I, I took the note, and I kind of gave them. Ariana's version of that on the album. I would say that exists. Oh yeah. Oh which was yeah. Another, yeah. So some of those seedling ideas from that time actually made their way onto the album, which is really exciting. But they, they're completely different now. So although you've, you've heard them because you stole them again, um, they're very different now. So that's exciting. As for what fans can expect her to talk about in Eternal Sunshine, the Thank You Next singer says it's about a little bit of everything. Well, because pieces of it touch on things that are real, and then pieces of it are also just like... A part of the concept. Yeah, part of the concept. So what is that separation? And it's so scary to leave it, to up, leave it up to these selective memory people to decipher. It's scary, but I digress. Too late. The vinyls have been printed.